Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. So guys, in this video, we are going to focus on an overview of uh, Nexus, which is model. Nexus, which is model. So we're going to have an overview of this uh, Nexus, which is family. Okay, so the guys who are very new to this uh, Nexus, which is for those, this video is going to be very useful. Uh, I'll request those guys to watch this video completely to have an understanding of what all Nexus models are available. Uh, so basically, uh, this Nexus switches, as you may be aware, these are the switches uh, which are data center specific uh, switches, I will say, because they are more deployed in data centers. And this they uses something known as NX OS. The operating system is Nexus uh, operating system. And they were introduced by uh, Cisco, I think, in January. Uh, mm -hmm. Some issue with my pen. 2008, I think they were introduced. Okay, so almost 12 years now from now, uh, they were introduced. Uh, so Nexus switches model. So broadly speaking, there are uh, models like. Uh, 9k uh, then we have 7k we have uh, 5k uh, i think we have 3k and yes we have 2k switches okay. so we have also have uh, 1k switches and uh, 6k switches i'll talk about these switches later on in this video so uh, the 7k or 9k or 5k 2k means they are like 7000 series 5000 series 9000 series and etc Okay, so you guys need to remember this like 9k means 9000 series. Uh, so I'll talk about firstly about 9k switches. Uh, these are the switches which which supports ACI that is application centric infrastructure which is, a, which is the selling point of this particular Nexus, which is currently in the market. So, this are the switches. Uh, these are the only switches which supports ACI. Uh, no other switches of this uh, Nexus family do support uh, ACI. Only 9K switches support ACI. So, in 9K switches, uh, we have a lot of uh, switches model. We have some modular switches. And we do have some uh, fixed switches. Okay, the switches with with fixed port, they do not have uh, modules in those, they have only fixed ports. So, a modular switch is uh, the family, it is known as 9500. In 9500 family, you will find uh, switches like uh, 95, uh, I think 9504, we have 9508 and the huge switch 9516, the 16 models, it will have like like if you have 9504, you will have model 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. For 16, you will have 9516, so you will have 16 models. Okay. Like this. Very big switch. I can show you this uh, switches if you want to actually see on uh, the switches uh, on Cisco website. Everything is present. What I have done in my uh, blog is uh, just show you the blog. On my blog, what I've done, if you go on my blog, you know, you'll find this blog, particularly this post, uh, Nexus, uh, Cisco Nexus uh, model overview. And here you can see I've mentioned about uh, six, uh, Cisco Nexus 9000 series. Uh, and you'll find the link over here, which is the Cisco website link. So you just go on that link and uh, you can have a look at various models I've mentioned here like 9500. So if you go into compare 9500, then you'll find this model 9504, 9508, uh, 9516. You'll see a lot of details how much rack unit you can see here. 9516, it takes about 21 rack units. So it's a big switch. If you go into this particular switch, you can you can have this complete data sheets of of this. This is nine five one six. Yeah, this is nine five one six. So you can have the complete uh, data sheet of this uh, switches. Uh, 
again in nine case which is you can see uh, the different uh, models uh, nine three double zero a lot of options in this switches fixed switches and nine two double zero i'll just show you here you just mention over here so in fixed we have uh, modules like which are fixed okay so we have something uh, known as nine two double zero okay which will support uh, one g ports which which will have one g ports a uh, 10 g uh we'll saying of uh, 25g 40g 50g and 100g ports okay they will support up to 100g ports fine right? and uh, about uh, this are, this is the major i'll say 9300 these are the uh, majorly used switches models 9300 because this gives you a variety of uh, port capacities you know in this particular model you get uh, you will you will have uh, the switches which will support copper ports also so which will be uh, supporting 1g copper or uh, 10g copper base t okay so the uh, models like uh, 93 uh, i think so 93120tx okay. a lot of different models so when you will find px so these are the uh, switches which will uh, uh, which will support uh, which will have uh, the copper ports so this is a major advantage mm, then you will have uh, some switches which will support fiber ports which will have uh, 1g ports 10g ports it will support it can support uh, up to 25g ports okay so the models like uh, 93180 yc so these are the models uh, fiber uh, fiber ports uh, model 7 fiber ports okay you can support up to one which can support 1g 10g and 25g um there are some switches we can support up to 40g and 100g there are some switches which can support up to 400g also so the models like uh, 93160dgx so these are the switches which can support 400g ports as well uh now let's talk about uh, this 7k switches now guys the 7k switches uh this switches a very famous switches 7k switches and these are the modular switches so we have two different models in this that is one is 7000 and the other one is uh 7700 okay so one is uh 7000 so in 7000 also you'll get uh different models 04 we have then we have uh 7010 i think we have 7018 i think so one one is missing over here uh 7009 also we have okay whereas uh, 7700 also we have different models 77 uh, 02 7706 uh, 7710 and 7718 okay so this particular model can give you the switching uh, capacity of about uh, 17.6 tbps whereas this can provide you the maximum switching capacity of 90 tbps so guys these are very uh, very switches which are normally used in data center if you are working on an access environment or if you go on working in some data centers will surely find uh, 7k switches as well um 5k switches 5k switches i can say these are the switches which are uh, placed in the access layer or end of the row you see uh, so this we have uh, two different platforms uh, 40g platform we have some switches and in 10g platform we have switches okay so very simple to remember 40g and 10g uh, 40g uh, switches platform i have no The switches like five six, 
two four Q. So now if you have Q Q over here, this is a Fakti G ports, Fakti G platform. And if you have like uh, any model with uh, five six, like for example five six seven two four P, then this will be the ten G platform. So very easy to remember and to recognize by the model name what platform it belongs. So these are the uh, switches which are normally uh, the switches which are in the access access layer, and along with this, you will find many times that two K uh, switches are connected to that switches. Like we will have a five K switch, and two K switch will be connected to it. Okay, so two K switches are nothing but the fax that is fabric extender. So five K will be our parent switch. And 2K will be the extender. Simple, because in 5K switches, these are the fixed uh, fixed port switches. So if you're working on the access layer, you know, and uh, if you deployed a certain switch, okay, for example, you deployed uh, 5, 6, 7, 2, 4, P, okay, and now what has happened is that you know all the ports are uh, are utilized, and you need more ports. So rather than uh, having a different 5K switches, which are more expensive, you can just have a 2K switch. So 2K, so I won't say is a switch; it's an, just an extender to the parent switch. You do not have its own brain. So you can use it as an extender, and then you can connect the down ports, uh, that is the servers and anything like which are the servers. For example, like this are in the access layer. So normally servers will be connected to these switches. So these are the 2K switches. Uh, parent switches we can have uh, we can may have seven k also here nine k also here no issues. Now let's talk about three uh, k switches. Three uh, k switches uh, these are the switches um, I will say which provides something known as uh, HPC that is uh, high performance computing, uh, very low latency. Is offered by this particular switches, so they are used where it is very business critical services. I would say uh, this switches uh, we have comes in uh, different models. If you want to have more details, again you can go into this particular uh, switches in one my blog because you know it's not possible to explain each and every uh, fundamental uh, thing of each and every switch. So if you go on my blog for three k switches. Also, I've mentioned a lot of uh, stuff over here. So three K switches. Okay. So if you go into this, uh, what all the switching capacities and everything, you can get into detailed kind of thing from the Cisco website. With different uh, models like uh, three thousand uh, series. Uh, they come. Uh, they come with. Uh, 3100 and 3200, 3400, 3500, 3600, okay. So, these are the different uh, models which are available in 3K switches. Uh, so, guys, uh, you know, a lot of things to explain. Uh, in this particular video which I can explain uh, but I don't want to make this video a bit boring video so the guys who want to have an overview of this particular uh, switch models I uh, think this is information to to which from which you can start to learn the uh, Nexus uh, switches hardware sort of thing yeah uh, I told you that there are two more uh, switch families that is 1k and 6k uh, 1k these are the virtual uh, switches is not a physical switches box the no physical switch it's an only a software application which is used in the virtual environment uh, whereas uh, 6k uh, they are the end of sale so i won't talk about uh, 6k much they're the end of the sale uh, switches so you also if you want to ignore this you can ignore 6k switches uh, not mostly deployed because they are the end of sales switches. So guys, uh, I think uh, this much information which I have given you in this video uh, will be more useful uh, to start up as I told you that you can just have an uh, overview of Nexus switches. I have tried to give you an overview. Uh, if you want to make me uh, more detailed videos regarding the hardware of uh, Nexus switches, I can do so. Uh, uh, 
you know try to bring uh, some clarity on on which all models are available in uh, nexus switches model in this video so guys i'll stop in this video here i'll catch up you in the next video please to comment me and let me know uh, that if you want to make me more videos on nexus models so that i can make those and also uh, give me the appropriate feedback for this particular video uh, if you really like this video guys please to like this video subscribe to my channel number text stuff i'll catch up in the next video thank you bye bye